Yes, getting hit by something from outer space would be much worse. Has anything from outer space ever fallen on the Earth? Excellent question, buddy. Observe. There are plenty of rocks and things in outer space that we can't see from down here, and some do come close to us. And very occasionally, some of those rocks actually fall onto the Earth. Wow, so the sky does fall? The sky doesn't fall, Dawn. These rocks called asteroids may, but really hardly ever hit the Earth. Asteroids come in all different sizes. Some are smaller than your family nest, and some are huge, much bigger than the dinosaur train. Whoa! And like I said, asteroids don't hit the Earth often, but when they do, they make a nice big hole. A huge hole? Yes, Dawn, and those holes are called craters. And we're gonna watch the sun set, then rise in the morning. Sounds like fun. It's great to be active when the sun is shining. So much food to find. Well, you pteranodons would know. You're daytimers, too. Daytimers? That's what I call us. Look, the sun is lower in the sky. <sighs> well, my work day is almost done. Your work day? Uh-huh. I work looking for food during the day when the sun is up, then the nocturnal creatures take over. Their workday starts after the sun sets. Exactly, Tiny. Okay, see you when the sun comes back tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night, Adam. Team, we're going to a special place to watch the sun go down, and then we'll go there tomorrow morning for the sunrise. Okay, follow me to Sunview Peak. To Sunview Peak! Okay, rule number one. Do not stare at the sun. It could hurt your eyes. You can peek and then look away. Now, the direction where the sun sets has a special name. It's called West. There goes the sun! Well, hope I didn't snore. <laughs> Ready to go, team? Wait, Dawn's asleep. Dawn! Time to get up! Dawn, didn't you say over and over that you weren't going to sleep? Why, uh, I wasn't sleeping. Uh, I was just, um, uh, napping. Well, all right then. Sunview Peak, here we come. Okay, kids, where will the sun rise? In the west. But the Earth has been spinning all night. Maybe it'll come up behind us. Or maybe right out of the mountains. Take a look over there. The sun will be rising in the opposite direction from the west, a direction called east. The sun is up! Hooray! <laughs> and it's already warmer out. Thanks, Mr. Sun. Get ready to see the daytimers again. Oh, good morning. Oh, time for me to get to sleep. Bye! Bye, Bye Patricia. Have a good sleep. Good <sighs> morning, pteranodons. <laughs> I slept like a log. You see any nocturnals last night? A lot. Patricia Paleobatrachus, some troodons, and glow beetles. Well, time to find some grub. How about a fish breakfast? Mom! Hi, hon. <gasps> so we saw the sun set in the west and rise in the east. Mom? Did you know that the Earth spins around? And that Dad snores louder when we camp out? What? Me? Snore? Gonna quietly see what Larry's up to? <laughs> <laughs> Small yellow and green gourds here. I have some bigger ones, too. Wait, those aren't rocks. They're gourds. <laughs> Done. Shh. Hey, what? Hello, I'm Trisha Troodon. Pleased to meet you. Oh. Trisha is one of my best young students at Dinosaur Train Conductor School. You guys are legends. I even have posters of you in my locomotive. <laughs> this is your train, Trisha? Sure is. I designed it myself. Do you like it? It's beautiful and shiny. Trisha, why is your train covered with all those um? 
boards with mirrors? Oh, actually, they're solar panels. You see, Trisha has discovered a whole new way to make trains move. <laughs> really? That's right. I call it my solar train. It's powered by the sun. The, the sun? sun? The sun? Yes, the sun. I don't understand. How can something be powered by the sun? Glad you asked, Miss Tiny. When something is powered by the sun's energy, it's called solar power. Our sun produces energy, which comes down to the Earth as sunlight. Animals store the warmth from the sunlight, and it gives them energy. Now, Trisha is apparently using that same energy to power her solar train. It's true. The solar panels on my solar train soak up the sun's energy, then use that energy to make the train zoom down the tracks. Except, even if Trisha's solar train does run, can it travel as fast and for as long as other trains? Just on the power of the sun? That's why it's better to ride my rocket train. Or... Uh, the dinosaur train. Yes, or the dinosaur train. Or maybe the solar train. I thought the best way to test it would be to have a friendly race with the two greatest trains ever built by Dinosaur Train Industries. What? Another hill? Oh, we're slowing down. Oh, no. No, I'll lose. Buddy and Tiny. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Conductor. And to you too, Trisha. Your solar train performed admirably. Oh, that bag of bolts. I thought you'd be happy, Mr. The Other Conductor. Didn't you flip that big switch on the tracks to help the other teams in the race? <gasps> so it's true. You did cheat. You switched the tracks. Oh, I am ashamed of you, Thurston. But, 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 but. I confess, I'm so embarrassed. But I'm very proud of you, Trisha! Your solar train held its own! I'm proud too, Trisha. I hope I can be just like you when I grow up. Smart and cool and creative. <laughs> Thank you. So you just celebrate gourds? <laughs> Actually, buddy boy, it's a celebration of the autumn moon. The autumn moon? Yep. The big, full autumn moon happens once a year, always around this time. We call it the autumn equinox, the day when it's exactly the same amount of daytime and nighttime. Tonight's moon is going to be completely full. And <laughs> it'll be a certain color. Moon! Autumn moon! Moon! Yeah, boy. <clears throat> Well, uh, yeah, have fun with your gourds and moon. Uh, we have a thing to do, so come on, kids. What thing do we have to do, Dad? You know, that thing. But this celebration sounds like so much fun. Can't we stay and play with the gourds? Look, this gourd looks like King Cryolophosaurus's crest. Thank you very much. Yeah, how do you like my horns? <laughs> They're gourds. The gourds. <laughs> Did someone say gourds? Hi, Mom. It's gourd season. Oh, Mrs. P, welcome to our festivity. The Lambiosaurus family celebrates gourd season at the autumn moon. And they go around collecting gourds. I know what fantastic pumpkins. Oh, and just in time, too. Look! The autumn moon is rising. Ooh, what color will it be? Was right, la la moon. <laughs> Everything is ready, pumpkin patchers. Now watch this trick. Whoa! Whoa. Happy autumn moon, everybody! Is this 
sitting on the edge of a crater made by a rock from outer space. And Buddy's hypothesis was right. Something did fall all the way from outer space. And it made a huge hole. Was that my hypothesis? I forgot. Yep. Another one of your excellent hypotheses, buddy. My buddy. I suppose we should be getting back. You are right, Mrs. P. All aboard the Zeppelin! Look! There's the moon! It's a full moon tonight, Miss Tiny. And if you observe our moon through the Zeppelin's telescope, You'll see that the Earth isn't the only place that's been hit by asteroids. Craters! Lots of craters! Whoa! I wonder if there are any kid dinosaurs and pterosaurs that live in outer space. Maybe there's a moon dawn in a moon crater collecting rocks. With his brother, a moon T-Rex. I'll be moon Tyranodon Tiny, and I'm moon Tiny. Wait, I'll be moon Mom. And it's Mom's turn to look through the telescope, kids! Now move yeah, over! Yeah. What? No, it's no, 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 no. Kids, take turns. Share the telescope. Oh, what fantastic kids you have, Mr. and Mrs. P. You stay curious, kids. Keep exploring and asking questions and finding out the answers. Yeah!